Welcome to the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Tasha Cadence and here is the seafood news for the week of February 10th, 2020. In this week's episode, we report on the new Pacific halibut quota and how it could affect This episode is brought to you by our Sinbad Platinum brand. Sinbad Platinum is our all-natural, premium quality brand that is produced in North America. Our Platinum brand is our highest quality value added line, only once frozen with zero additives. Find out more on our website at tradexfoods.com slash ourbrands. The International Pacific Halibut Commission concluded its 96th annual meeting last Friday in Anchorage, Alaska, where the final decision was to ultimately lower the Pacific halibut quota for Canada and the USA. The IPHC set the total constant exploitation yield, or TCEY, at 36.6 million pounds for 2020. 5.5% less than the 38.61 million pounds set for 2019 and 1.67% less than 37.21 in 2018. The decision was not unanimous as the Commission delivered their testimony before the agreement finally passed. In 2019, fishermen took about 94% of the fishery limits and 96% in 2018. The decision to lower the quota comes at no surprise, as IPHC lead scientist Ian Stewart put the industry on notice in November, stating that lower yields will be necessary to reduce higher fishing intensity. He can be quoted saying, We're looking at a period of relatively low productivity for the Pacific halibut stock over the next three years. The primary driver behind that has been the addition of new information about the sex ratio of commercial fishery catch that has indicated that we've probably been fishing the stock harder than we thought historically. Stewart added that bycatch of halibut taken in other fisheries has also increased. Now let's move on to see what all this could mean for the industry. The reduction in quota ultimately means everyone in the supply chain will need to adjust to less new season Pacific halibut where the fresh market will probably feel more of the effects than the frozen market. Although less supply typically dictates that prices will rise, one large processor we spoke to predicts ground prices might actually come down. We won't know for sure what will happen until the ground prices are set just before the first halibut opener, often while the boats are first out. In speaking with Peggy Parker, Executive Director of the Halibut Association of North America, she explains that this is very difficult to speculate for the industry as a whole. Pacific halibut has traditionally enjoyed a white tablecloth market. Historically, when prices are on any high-value seafood rise too high, some buyers will look to other products, but processors understand this and work closely with their customers to continue to deliver Pacific halibut. Let's take a quick look now at Atlantic halibut out of Canada and Greenland halibut out of Russia and Norway. For Greenland halibut, Reinhardius hippoglossides, the Joint Norwegian-Russian Fisheries Commission has set the total quota at 27,000 metric tons for a potential of 59.5 million pounds of halibut to hit the market. For Atlantic halibut, hippoglossus hippoglossus, Canada's 2019 and 2020 total total allowable catch are for 1,492 metric tons in the Gulf of St. Lawrence and 4,789 metric tons in the Scotian Shelf and Southern Grand Banks, making potentially 13.8 million pounds of Atlantic halibut available in the market. Although Peggy recognizes Atlantic halibut as a competitor to Pacific in the market, she points out that there are some significant differences between the two. Management differences aside, Atlantic halibut is often promoted as having more flavor and higher oil content than its Pacific counterpart. Moving on to the current market. In January, we started seeing frozen inventories on Pacific halibut starting to dry up, with 20 and 40 pound sizes reportedly almost gone. We suspect this market price is set to rise due to there being no new fishery until March 2020. Our recommendation is to get some conversation going with your rep at Tradex Foods for your upcoming halibut needs as the new season is right around the corner. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Tasha Cadence. Buy smart and eat more seafood.